What's up you guys? I have a story today and my story is going to be about the first time I ever like pump myself up in the mirror when I'm like, you got this girl, da 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 da. It is a funny story. So I'll go ahead and get started. Um, it was not very long ago actually. And I was just getting out of the shower and I get out and I've got my towel on and I'm looking myself directly in the mirror in my like in my own eyes hello dog um so i was looking at myself and i'm like you got this nobody else has got you but you nobody is going to save you but you you have to get you and you've got it and then i walk from my bathroom to my bedroom and had a panic attack and literally stayed in my apartment for a day and a half all together. Um, I felt like I couldn't leave the house. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I couldn't. Um, so that's what happened the first time I ever put myself up. Um, but at this point, what I want to remind everybody is that you don't always have to pump yourself up and immediately just be, you're on it. Like you won the game. You don't have to do that. Not at all, like I said, the first time I ever popped myself up, ever, in my entire life. I'm 32 years old, and it's the first time I've ever talked to myself in the mirror. Um, I, you know, had an anxiety attack, and I couldn't function for the whole rest of the day. So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, things can get easier for you um, with practice. Everything is a practice makes perfect type of deal. So... I continue to practice by talking to myself in the mirror and just talking to myself in general or writing down. I have horrendous memory, so I write down everything in a couple different places. And um, I'll write down my goals, kind of like a manifestation journal. Um, I don't really know all the details for stuff like that, but I guess it would kind of be something similar to that. Um... But you don't have to go from zero to 100. You don't have to go from being poor to rich. Nobody does. Everybody that's a millionaire will tell you that they struggled at some point and that it was never just you have zero dollars to a million. It just never happens unless if you're, you know, the one of the few that it does for something like winning the lottery or something like that. Um, but I have some pretty good goals this year on what I want to do and things I need to accomplish. And I'm trying to get better at doing the things that I want to do, but I, I just want everybody to know too that you're not going to just not have anxiety anymore. So while I'm trying to be motivational and I'm being motivating for other people, it's also selfishly a part of me for me too, where I'm pumping myself up and I might not be exactly doing everything in a row like I'm supposed to be doing and blah, 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 blah. It just doesn't happen like that, especially for me, especially with my memory, especially with the other things that I have going on. Um, but I feel like that's quite normal comparing myself to things that I've listened to other people talk about. So get a goal and just work on it and work on it in your own pace and do what you can do day by day if you have to. Um, you know, even like trying to work more for me, I do a little bit more every day and I might not be doing the best but I'm doing the best that I can do right now and I know that in the future as long as I continue to do what I'm doing I will get better at it and then I will be successful because that's my goal and that's what I want to happen I want to be successful so boom there's your motivation for today don't give up if you have a goal if you talk to yourself in the mirror and you have an anxiety attack it's all good because guess what? You don't explode. So here I am, unexploded. Um, but just stay motivated, guys. Like, it's 2020. Like, we need to be staying motivated. It just breaks my heart how some, some people I see going through some struggles. And, I mean, I go through struggles too. But I, I have to remember every time something bad happens. And literally, bad stuff happens to me all the time the time not even joking I have some of the worst luck out of anybody I've ever met in my entire life um <laughs> so it just is what it is but it's like kind of like you know take me down I'll get back up what else can you do what else can you do there's nothing else you can do
You just have to get back up. So, and even if you get back up and you've got a gimpy leg and you're struggling and you lost an arm and your ear fell off or whatever, like, ultimately, you can still do it as long as you push yourself. So, that, like I said, that's just some motivation for today. Some stuff I've been thinking about. Um, and then again, like I said, to selfishly motivate myself too. I think if I talk about it, I'll be about it. So, there you go. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is. Wherever you are in your life, I hope this helped you. So, peace.